making this video because when I wanted to know how to light up LED lights, there was nothing on the internet that could help me. And it drove me crazy just researching. But I'm gonna try to make this uh, real easy for you. That way, that's why I'm making this video. But um, just remember when you're wiring stuff, whether it's LED lights or not, everything must go in a continuous circle. Meaning that if you got your battery, you got your positive and your negative on the other side, the wires must go in a circle no matter what. If you have an on and off switch, you would put it in between here. And if you have a light, you would put it in between here. Do not connect them and then go back to the battery and come back out. Uh, it'll cause a charge and, and it won't work. It'll either fry your battery or fry something else. You're just not supposed to do that. Go in a continuous circle and that's how you light stuff up. And as you see here, I have the battery positive and negative and I'm going in a continuous circle what I have here is a LED light and then between that I have a little on and off switch and I just slap this together real quick so I could teach you how to do it because I made a model ship you could see that in my other video and I wired it up with LED lights a lot of trial and error there until I figured it out but now anytime I want to wire something up I'm pretty quick at it um, with LED lights, you will need a resistor, and I have a resistor right in here. I'll try to get it in there. And what it does, it slows down the power, because you got nine volts going to an LED, and it takes much less power to light that up. So what I'm doing is resisting the power, and you must do this on the positive side, not the negative. Um, if you don't understand it, you could just vice versa them when you get to the LED. Um, you could try it like if I would have put the positive on What goes on a positive on an LED because you have to pump the right amount of power the right way into the LED Don't worry. You won't burn it out. You can keep trying to flip them around and um, once you get it right your LED will light up and uh, I'm just gonna hit the button here, and I got the resistor going To the on and off switch, and you'll see it lights up Got the LED light lighting up you could do this with an on and off switch. You could do it with a button. Um, it's pretty cool if you're gonna like make model cars, model ships, stuff like that, or even just you know just for fun, whatever you're gonna use it for. Hopefully this comes in handy. Um, you can get resistors from Radio Shack or other places. I, I usually get them off of old circuit boards. You can open like an old broken VCR, DVD player, something like that, and you could find resistors. And most of the time they'll work just fine whether uh, what size resistor they are like I said you could just try it. it's not gonna hurt like if I wanted to wire this on and off switch here it wouldn't be too hard uh, to get it in between here but just remember always go in a continuous circle and you should be able to figure that out another quick tip I'm gonna teach you about is uh, when you have a wire that looks like this and there's nothing on the end I used to use my teeth to uh, get the wire stripped down but something that came in real handy that somebody taught me was just take a lighter to it for about maybe a second or two and then move your hand real quick and just pinch it and pull it away and it will strip it real quick easy I mean it's a little warm but nothing hot where it can burn you and it just comes in real handy a little trick there that I learned um, that's it thanks for watching hope this helps you out with wiring up whatever you're doing motors lights LED lights uh, if you're doing a motor you won't need the uh, resistor this is only for uh, LED lights if you were gonna do this with a motor or just a basic light not a LED you would just remove the resistor and that's how you wire stuff up go in a continuous circle thanks a lot thanks for watching